so hello guys welcome back to the new video so in this video we're gonna make this portfolio website by using the react js and the tailwind css okay so let me show the demonstration of the website and uh, this is a portfolio website for yourself and so let me refresh this website from scratch and uh, we're gonna make this by using the react js and that tailwind css from scratch <clears throat> okay so it is our uh, hero section and here we have this uh, icons with the grid <clears throat> okay so let's move to our next section here we have the about uh, about a section like this and here we have the portfolio section and after that uh, we have this view more button with this hover effect okay so if i go to here here we have the client section so if i click here it will change okay and it is totally responsive for all the screens and it is our contact us section okay and uh, these are the social icons and this is the submit button and here we have the footer and here we have the link to the top button okay so if i click on this it will take me to the top okay so if i go to about section it will take me to the about if i go to the portfolio here then it will show me the clients and same as for the contact and uh, and uh, its website is totally responsive for all the screens so let me show you the responsiveness of this <clears throat> okay so let's uh, let's inspect this once and uh, let me show the responsiveness for all the screens so here you can see that it is totally responsive and uh, for all the screens and uh, here we have the phone header if i go here it will uh, uh, it is uh, responsive for all the screens so, uh, you can see that and uh, this button will take the top okay so if i click here the phone header will appear like this and if i click on the about section so it will take to the about similarly for the portfolio then for the testimonial and uh, then for the contact okay so i'm going to show you how to make this whole website by using the react js and the tailwind css from scratch so let's start the video and uh, and if i click on this cross button it will hide the header for the phone Okay, so let's start the video and we're going to make this from scratch by using the React.js and the Tailwind CSS. Okay, so for making this, uh, let's uh, make a new folder first. Okay, so for making this, you have to make a new folder. So let me go here and I'm going to make a folder on my here. Okay, so let's go here and I'm going to make a folder here. So let's name the portfolio. Okay, and go inside this folder and here you have to open this with vs code okay so uh, you can use any code editor if you want like scrimba or anything but i prefer to use the vs code okay so after that uh, let's zoom it little bit okay i hope it is visible to all okay so after that uh, we have to install the react project with the tailwind css so for installing it we have to go to the tailwindcss.com and uh, from here let's install this so first we have to go to the get started so let's go to the get started and uh, go and go to the quick search and search here install this with white okay so it will give you this using react so we have to choose the using react so copy the first command here and uh, let's copy this command and go to our vs code let's uh, close our previous okay so this is our fresh installation so let's go here and we're gonna run the command from here okay so let's paste the command and uh, after that we have to install this project in the same folder so i have to write here dot and hash okay so let's enter it okay so let's wait for it okay so this is uh, installed so after that what we have to do we have to run this command okay so copy this command the this one and just uh, go to this and uh, paste this okay so let's wait for it okay so it is installing let's uh, wait for this and uh, i'm going to show you this whole website how to make this how to make such type of menus how to make this hover effect so please watch the video till end and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to our channel okay and if i click here it will take me to the top and this is totally so much uh, smooth scroll okay so let's see if it is installed or not okay so it is still installing and i'm going to show you how to make this type of uh, slider okay and this is fully changeable whatever styles you want to add here
and if i go to the inspect you, uh, you, uh, you can see that uh, uh, when i when i am on the desktop the uh, then this menu is appearing and if i go to in the smaller screen the menu will gone and this icon will appear and after clicking on this icon the menu will come like this okay so in this video you going to learn all this okay so let's wait for it to install first and after that we are we going to start our project okay so our uh, it is installed so let's go here and we going to run the second command npx tailwind in it so let's copy this command and we going to run this command okay so let's wait for it to install okay so this is installed so after that what we have to do <coughs> we have to go to this file tailwind.config.js and uh, let first copy this and uh, then we're going to go here to this uh, file and uh, we're going to replace all this and we're going to copy the this okay so after that we have to go to the index.css file in the src folder so let's copy that from here and go to src and here in index.css remove all the code and uh, we're going to copy this here let's save it and also save this file okay so after that uh, let's close all this and uh, after that we have to go to the app.jsx and copy this from here and open the app.jsx file and let's paste it here okay so after that what we have to do we have to go here and write uh, cls and then write npm run dev so let's see our project is properly set up or not okay so it is set up let's open this in this link so it will reload this and this gonna go blank okay okay so our project is totally set up so let's remove all this from here and this uh, and let's start and we're gonna make the hole okay so let's uh, start the video and uh, we're gonna make first the section for our project like the hero section about the section okay so first uh, so let's first make the app app dot jsx so for making that uh, okay so let's go here and uh, i'm going to write the rafc so you you have to install the two extension from here so first you have to install the redux uh, uh, this extension es7 okay so so you have to install this extension and after that you have to install one more extension uh, which is the tailwind css intelligence if you write here tailwind css it will give you the extension this first one okay tailwind css intelligence okay so after that you have to install this so let's uh, go to here in src and uh, here i am gonna make one folder section okay and we have to do one more thing we have to uh, remove this uh, icon from here and uh, i am gonna copy the assets folder from my previous okay and i will give you that folder in the video description so you can copy that from here okay so like this so i will give you this folder in the video description so let me go quickly and i'm going to copy this assets folder from here and uh, let's uh, go to the desktop and here i'm going to paste that assets folder inside this first let's remove this assets folder and let's paste the new one okay so let's get back to it and uh, here we have the, all the icons and the images so i will give you this in the video description okay so let's uh, okay so what we have, we have to do we have to make some sections so inside the section folder we have to make a header dot jsx and after that uh, let's made hero dot jsx okay so let me do one thing in the header dot jsx let's go here and write rafc in same for the hero section rafc okay so let's make a, uh, another section about 
about dot jsx and inside this also write rafc and save it let's make another section portfolio dot jsx and inside this also i am going to write rafc okay so let's save it also then after that we have to make a client dot jsx rafc then after that uh, we have to make contact dot jsx rafc then after the contact we have to make a footer dot jsx and uh, write it here rafc okay so we have to go to the app dot jsx and inside this we have to render all this so let's open this and inside this i am gonna header so it will import that auto, uh, automatically right here to hero import that to right here about okay then after that we have to import portfolio then after that let's import the client then we have to import the contact okay then we have to import the footer at last okay so let's save this and let's see if our files are ready or not so you can see that we have nothing here so let's go here and uh, okay so our footer and the contact is not imported so let me go here and uh, i'm going to write again contact and for the footer footer okay so you can see that our all sections are here rendered so let's start the first section so i'm going to make the hero section first so we have to go to this hero section okay so let me do one thing first we're going to remove all the sections from the above so it will be clean for us to make this okay so now we have to make the hero section okay so for making the hero section uh, what we have to do let's go here and uh, i'm going to write it here section tag okay then in the section tag what we have to do i have to give id home here and write here let's add here classes for styling to the tailwind okay so i'm going to give here width full bg white height would be fit okay then flex justify center and for the large screen justify start item center and in the padding in the x axis would be 10 and in the y axis would be 20 then flex column and gap of 4 okay so let's uh, go here and let's format it first and uh, let's uh, minimize it and in the view you have to go to the word wrap okay okay so inside this uh, we have to add an h1 so let's write it here so let's write it here mark hudson and you have to enter a span tag here and uh, we gonna write here resume so let's give styling to it so in the h1 tag let's add a class name and here i'm gonna write uh, text uh, 6 excel text black font semi bold text center okay so let's save this and this let's see okay so this is rendering here like that so we have to style the resume here let's here enter text orange i found that text uh, 6 excel font semi bold okay so you can see that this is like that 
so let's format this and we have to go to the word wrap okay so after that what we have to enter here we have to enter a p tag here okay okay so let's uh, enter here p tag and here i'm going to write uh, what i do Okay, so here I am going to write the what I do, and in the classes, let's give some styling to it. So here I am going to write uh, so here I am going to write as text to Excel. Okay, so let's write the text to Excel, and after that I am going to write text black. font semi bold text center okay so let's go here and render so it is rendered here so after that after the p tag i'm going to render the image so for the image uh, we have to give here the hero img and uh, i'm going to import it here and import hero img from assets images slash hero img dot png okay and in the alt tag write here hero image and let's give the width of 500 height of 500 and in the class name write margin top 7 empty 7 okay so this means margin top 7 so let's see so it is rendered here so after that what we have to do inside this section we have to make uh, the grids so right here div tag and that give your id about grids let's give the classes here flex justify items uh, center gap of 5 width of 90% width of 90% and minus margin 20 v index of 20 flex call and for the large uh, and for the large devices flex would be row okay so let's format and, and inside this div we're going to enter uh, another div okay so let's give here the classes flex justify center items uh, start gap of 5 bg white and padding in the x axis would be 2 and for the large devices padding would be 6 and for and the y axis padding would be 4 and border would be rounded uh, md and bg opacity will be 30 okay so inside this div uh inside this div you have to enter another div so let's enter the class name here so it would be bg black padding would be 5 rounded full flex justify center item center okay so after that what we have to do inside this div uh, this div is for the image so you we have to render an image here so image of and for the src these are the icons okay so for the src we have to write here web icon img width 45 height 45 okay so after that div after that div we have to make another div and this div is for the here we have to enter the class name flag 
जस्टी जस्टिफाई सेंटर आइटम वुड बी आइटम स्टार्ट प्लस कॉल एंड गैप वुड बी थ्री ओके सो आफ्टर दैट इनसाइड दिस डिव यू हैव टू एंटर एन एच वन टैग एंड फॉर द एच वन टैग वी हैव टू राइट हियर वेब डिजाइन सो लेट्स गिव स्टाइलिंग टू इट एंड टू एक्सेल टेक्स्ट ब्लैक फॉन्ट बोल्ड सो लेट्स सी हियर एंड इफ इट इज रेंडेड और नॉट ओके सो दिस इज नॉट रेंडेड बिकॉज वी हैव टू import this image first import web from assets icons web design dot svg and let's import another icon From asset, from icon, and this will be arrow dot svg. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, so you can see that this is rendered like this. Now what we have to do inside after that h1, we have to enter a p tag, and here we have to write lorem ten. Okay, so lorem ten, and after that uh, let's enter a br tag. Br tag here. Okay, so let's give styling to this p tag. Text uh, lg, and here I'm gonna write the text plate nine text plate nine hundred. Okay, like this, and after this p tag, we have to render that arrow here. Image, and for the source, I'm gonna write here. arrow arrow icon in the alt tag and here we have to give the width of uh, uh, 50 and height of 50 so let's save this okay so it is rendered like this so let's format this one and uh, after that what we have to we have to just copy this section like this and we have to duplicate this two more times okay so let's save this Okay, so you so you can see that our first section is ready, like this. And if I go in the responsiveness of this, so you can see that uh, this is totally responsive also. Okay, so like this. Our uh, hero section is ready, and after that we're gonna make the about section. So let's open this and uh, let's close the hero section, and uh, let's uh, go to the about section and uh, let's start making the about section. Okay, so let me fix my mic little bit. Okay, so. Now we have to make the about a section. So for making this, so let's go here, and we have to write it here section render with that with section, and inside this section, let's add the ID here, and this ID is for the menu. Uh, when we click on the menu, it will take me to this section. Okay, so for that, let's add the classes, flex, and here I'm going to write the justify center again, item center. Gap would be five, flex column for all the devices and margin auto, and width would be full, and height would be fit, and padding in the y-axis would be twenty. So let me go here format and uh, let's word wrap it. Okay, so inside this section we have to write a div here. Inside this section we have to write a div. and inside this div let's add some classes okay class would be flex justify uh, justify justify between and uh, item center gap would be 5 and flex and for the large devices flex would be row border would be 2 and border y would be black and uh, border x would be 0 border y border x would be 0 
okay then padding in the x axis would be 0 and padding in the y axis would be 7 and for the large devices padding in the y axis would be 12 and uh, width for all the devices would be 80 percent okay so let's format this and inside this new div you have to enter an h1 and here i'm gonna write the about company or you can write about myself here because this is a portfolio website so let's add the classes here and this will be text of we uh, we're gonna give the custom text here 25 pixel and font would be bold so let's save this first and see if it is rendered or not okay so it is rendered here so after that we have to go here and i'm going to give a p tag here let's enter a lorem 10 here and uh, inside this classes text uh, excel text center okay so it is rendered here after that uh, what we have to do uh, inside after that div another div and uh, let's enter the classes here flex uh, justify center item center gap would be 10 flex call px would be 4 and for the large devices px would be 20 margin top 20 and width for all the devices would be 80 percent okay and inside this you have to enter an h1 tag so let's write here so let me add here lorem 20 and after that we have to another and for this i'm gonna write lorem 10 so let's style the first h1 here text black and the text would be 4 excel in size and for the large devices text the size would be 5 excel and text would be center so let's update this okay so it is so the text is so much so let's remove some demi text from here okay like this and after that we have to go to this second h1 and uh, here let's enter the classes text storage would be 500 text 4 excel and for the large devices text would be 6 excel font would be semi bold text center okay so let's see here okay so it is like this and uh, okay i think this gap is not because the spelling mistake okay so it is rendered like this okay so our about us section is also completed our home and uh, our hero and about section is ready and uh, now we're gonna make the now we're gonna make the portfolio section okay so for making the portfolio section uh, we have to go here let's close the about us section and from here open the portfolio and inside this let's uh, go here and i'm gonna write here section and after the section uh, inside this section let's uh, give an id id would be portfolio and, uh, and the style it. so let's give the width full and padding in the y axis would be 32 height would be fit flex uh, okay then we have to give the justify center item center gap of 5 and flex would be column for all the screen okay so, so let's format it and we're going to do the word wrap so inside the section let's enter an h1 tag in here you have to write the my box and let's uh, give the styling to it so i'm going to give the text center first then text uh, of 5 excel font would be bold text black so let's save this and uh, our portfolio section is start rendering so after the h1 tag what we have to do we have to enter a div here let's give an id here gallery 
and in the div we have to enter the styling so give the flex flex wrap justify center item center gap would be 8 and margin top would be 8 okay so inside this div we have to write the image tag and in the src folder we have to write the pick and here in the width we have to okay so we have to give the class name here and inside the class name we have to give a custom width of uh, 400 pixel and the custom height of 350 pixel also 350 pixel okay and the cursor would be pointer so we have to render the image above so let's import pick from assets images slash pick dot jpg so let's update it and see okay so this image is rendered here okay so now we have to copy this eight times one two three four five six seven eight eight okay so we have to just change the name here so let's write it here one and also write it here one right here two then again two and three write it here three then four four five Five and for this six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. Okay, and also here we have to copy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and just we have to change the path here or the name. Okay, four, then five, and uh, then it will be six. 7 and similarly 8 okay so let's see see here so you so you can see that our portfolio are come here so after that we have to what to do uh, so after that after this whole div let's format this one okay so after this main div here we have to add a button and uh, let's write here view more and inside this button we have to give uh, styling Styling would be padding would be 10 in the x-axis in the y-axis padding would be 4 and bg orange would be 500 text would be white text lg font semi bold and on hover and on hover let's give it black okay and uh, margin top would be 6 so let's save this and uh, though our button is also ready here ok so our these sections are ready now we have to make the client section ok so for so let's save it so let's close this and we are gonna move to the client section so let's make the client section here ok so for making the client section we have to install the flow byte uh, flow byte react so let's what we have to do let's go to here and here i'm gonna flow byte react library and from here let's go to this okay we're gonna use the uh, slider of this so let's uh, go to the quick start and uh, in the quick start we have to uh, run this command Okay, so we have to run this command npm i flow byte react okay so let's go to this uh, terminal here let's open the new terminal and inside this i'm gonna run this command so it will install the flow byte react and after installing it we have to let's go to the components and from here go to the carousel okay and in the cursor you can see that there are so many sliders so we're gonna use the this one slider content okay just expand the code 
and we have to copy this whole carousel from here okay so let's wait for it to first open install so uh, this is installed okay so now we're gonna start making it so let's uh, go to our client section here and here let's add the section let's add a section okay so inside this section let's give this section first id id testimonial and uh, let's give the classes here so width full flex column for all justify item center and the height would be 800 uh, pixel and in the large devices height uh, would be 600 pixel okay and uh, let's uh, get back to this and here let's get back to here we, you have to choose the slider content and uh, just expand the code and here we're gonna copy this whole corazel from here and uh, let's uh, paste this here and also we have to import uh, uh, this okay so you can import you have to import this so let's copy this also and we have to import this above okay so after that just uh, remove all the slider from here and uh, also remove all the styling in uh, let me remove the whole div from here so we're gonna make our whole div again okay so let's render a div here and inside this div so let's add a classes here for styling so give the okay so first you have to give the styling to this carousel okay so give the classes with uh, full and for the large devices uh, width would be 80 percent and for the phone it will be full then uh, after that we have to give the id clients and for the slide interval you have to give 2000 okay then for the indicators and for the indicators we have to make it false okay so let's get back to this div and for the div we have to give the class name flex item center justify between flex call and for the large devices flex would be do and width would be full and and in the x-axis padding would be 4 and for the large devices padding uh, would be 32 and gap would be 10 so let's uh, format this and inside this div uh, inside this div we have to render the image so let's write it here like this and inside the div let write here client uh, img and let's give the classes name here so width would be 50 percent width would be 50 percent and for the large devices width would be 30 percent okay so inside this we have to render the image and for the src to render the client one client image okay let give the classes uh, width would be 600 pixel the custom width and the height would be 300 pixel and for the large devices the width would be uh, 350 pixel and uh, for the large devices height would be custom also it will be 400 pixel so let's import the client images first and we have to go to the asset then we have to go to the images inside this client one dot jpg let's uh, copy this and here we have to just change it to 2 and also change it to 2 okay so let's see okay so this is rendered here so now what we have to do inside so our div is ready now we have to make another div outside this image div and this div is for the left side so here 
we have to write here id client info let's give the classes here flex column justify center item center and for the large devices items uh, would be start for the large devices items uh, would be start and gap would be 4 for all and uh, width would be 70 percent okay so inside this we have to render an h1 so let write here linda larson under a span here inside this designer and inside this span we have to enter okay so here we have to give the text uh, of custom width of 28 pixel text orange would be 500 italic and font would be semi bold okay and for this h1 text would be 28 pixel font bold text black text center so let's format this and uh, so you can see that this is rendered here now we have to uh, let to go to view and uh, we have to wrap this okay so now after the h1 you have to render a p tag here lorem 10 and uh, let's uh, enter a text lg uh, text lg text black text center okay text center and uh, the devices text would be start okay let's save it so it is come here now we have to enter a uh, button here so inside the button we have to write view more and uh, let's give the classes here padding in the x axis would be 10 padding in the y would be 3 and bg orange uh, 600 text would be white text uh, size would be medium and font would be semi bold and on hover bg black and empty margin top would be 6 so let's update it and so you can see that it is rendered here so let's format the uh, format this code so now just we have to do what we have to do we have to copy this uh, one div and duplicate it and just we have to change your client to okay and just you have to change the here the text okay so andrew damn so you can write anything according to your clients okay so i think uh, there is some issues so let's okay so i uh, okay so i understand why it is not working because it is not working because we have to uh, go to the getting started again and in this quick start we have to enter some more code okay so inside this okay so we have to add these two lines so we have to add this inside the this folder this uh, this file and inside this file we have to write it here this line flow by react in the tailwind dot config dot js file and uh, we have to enter this plugin file also inside this okay so just enter it and save it and after that get let's get back to this so you can see that it is now working okay so now what we have to do now what we have to do we have to style the arrows okay so for adding the arrow styling let's remove this from here this from here go back to the clients 
and uh, from here we have to go to the index dot uh, index dot css file and here we have to enter some code for the arrow styling okay so let's uh, enter the, and we're going to enter this by using the inspect option if we go if i go here in the inspect option we will find the arrow here okay let's go to this uh, inspect so you can go to your here inspect option and here you will find this arrow okay so these are the buttons okay so we we gonna style this by using the classes so if we gonna add uh, uh, custom css here testimonial and then we gonna go to the client button and in the span tag just uh, write background color would be hash uh, f f 5 a 1 f okay and after that width would be 4 rem and height would be 4 rem okay then after that uh, just copy this above line and you have to enter the span hover background color would be black cursor would be pointer okay then after that uh, we have to copy this again from here and inside this where we can, we have the svg just give the width of 3 rem height of 3 rem so let's update it okay so this is working so this is not perfectly in the center so i think uh, there is some styling mistake so uh, so i have find the issue so the issue was that i have not uh, right here uh, here the flex so you have to just write it here flex because if i uh, remove the flex from here then when i save it so you can see that it is here so i have made this flex okay so just write the flex here and just save it so it will be properly in the center okay so let's uh, go and we're going to make the contact uh, contact session now okay so for making the contact session let's remove this uh, from here and we're going to open the contact here and uh, let's make the contact section okay okay so for making the contact section uh, we have to again render the classes and uh, let's go here and uh, that's uh, write it here section and let's give the section some classes first we're going to give the id for contact and for the classes i'm going to write the width full and padding in the y direction would be 20 and uh, flex flex call and for the large devices flex uh, would be row justify center item send item start okay and padding in the x axis would be 6 and for the large devices padding would be 32 and gap would be 6 and for the large devices gap would be 28 okay so let's save this let's uh, let's format this let's go to the view and we're going to wrap it and inside this section we have to write here and give the uh, id left okay so inside this left one we have to enter some classes flex justify center item start flex call gap would be 6 and for the large devices and for the large devices uh, width would be 40% okay then inside this div go to write h1 and you to write i'm going to write here contact me let's give the classes here as the h1 text file excel 
font bold and text would be black so let's save it let's format this one okay so we have the contact me section here so inside this h1 after the h1 we're gonna enter your p tag so let's write it here lorem 30 and let's give this p tag a styling so text excel text late text late 800 let's save okay so after the p tag what we have to do uh, another and here we're gonna write a random phone number okay and uh, let's enter the classes here text black text uh, 20 text 20 pixel font bold like this and uh, here i'm gonna write a uh, demo mail at the rate gmail.com okay so this comes here okay now what we have to do after the div tag this this is for the left and inside this h1 to enter another div for the social icon let's give the classes here flex justify center item center and gap would be 3 and margin top would be 6 ok inside this div we have to make a div bg or in 500 rounded uh, full padding would be 3 from all the direction and on hover bg flat and uh, cursor would be pointer and inside this we have to enter an image and for this image uh, we have to write it here fb and inside this you have to write it here fb so let's import all the social icon images so let's import fb from uh, assets and then icons then and fb.svg let's copy this in two three okay so let's just change the name insta and i'm gonna write here insta and for the right here uyt here yt and here also linkedin and also linkedin so let's see okay so here we have this so after that in the image we have to get the width of 25 height of 25 so let's see okay so now what we have to do we have to just uh, copy this and we have to duplicate this three times and we have to change the name here yt so let's save let's format this and let's save again so you, you can see that our social icons are here so now what we have to do we have to make the right section for the form so inside this section we have this first div and inside this div the first div is for the left and then we're gonna write this right which would be full and for the large devices uh, would, would be 60 percent okay form and after the form flex flex column for all you have to give the justify center item start and gap of 10 okay then inside this form we have to write here input 
type text and uh, let first give the classes so here we gonna read the width full and uh, border t0 border top 0 border l0 border r also 0 border 2 border b2 border black and text would be of custom size of 20 pixel padding in the y direction would be 4 and padding in the x direction would be 2 so let's format this go to view and what drag is on so now what we have to do we have to write here place order enter your valid name here ok so let's save it and you can see that we have this so right now we are getting this uh, border here so i think uh, there is mistake I forget this let's save this ok so that is rendered so now just we have to go here and we have to duplicate this ok and uh, just we have to change here email just change the text enter your valid email here and here we have to change this to number and right here enter your valid phone number here let's update ok so now what we have to do we have to render a text area and for the text area for the row we have to give 4 and placeholder enter your message here and uh, for the classes we have to just copy the classes from the above and we're gonna give the same classes to this also just uh, format this and let's save okay so we have this message now we have to inside this form we have to write input uh, button and value value submit ok so let's see okay, well, button just you have to style it so let's go to do this and inside this you have to write a p as 10 padding in the x direction 10 padding in the y direction 3 and background color will be bg orange 600 text white text size will be medium semi bold and on hover bg black and margin top would be 6 and the cursor would be pointer let's update so our contact section is also ready and our this section is also ready so uh, now we have to just make the header and footer now our whole sections are ready just we have to make, make the header and footer so let's start and we're gonna make the footer first so let's remove the contact uh, contact from here and let's go to the footer section and let's open the footer and uh, let's close this all and uh, we're gonna render the section here and uh, inside this section let's add a class name here with full bg black text white and padding would be 6 ok so inside this section we have to enter a div uh, and the class name gives less justify items center and gap would be 2 and text center and inside this div to render an image image uh, would be copyright so what you have to do let's import copyright to go to the assets and we have to go to the icons inside this copyright svg and uh, we have to import to top from same folder icons to top svg and uh, we have to also import uh, uh, the react scroll 
okay so what we have to do uh, let's go back here and here let's write here CLS then we have to write here npm i react scroll npm i react I see scroll so let's enter it and uh, so this will be used for scrolling animation the smooth the smooth animation so let's wait for it to render and uh, we're gonna complete our okay so this is installed okay so let's minimize this and here I'm gonna write the copyright image let's uh, give some width uh, to it to 20 and height of 20 okay then after this we're gonna write here copyright 2024 debug entity all right reserve okay let's see okay so this is come just we have to make that icon so for making the icon what we have to do is after that uh, we have to write here link okay so this comes and here we have to import import link from uh, react scroll okay so after in, inside this link tag have to enter uh, src and here we have to write here to top uh, to top and image you can write anything you want and in the classes you have to give the fixed bottom would in the bottom direction it will be fixed from right direction 3 and cursor would be pointer okay so when someone would click on it it will so here we don't gonna give the classes so in the two I'm gonna give the home and uh, spy spy would be true and uh, smooth true and in the offset we're gonna give the minus 100 okay so let's see if it is rendered or not so it is rendered uh, just uh, we have to give the height and width to this to so let's give the width of uh, 65 and height of 65 let's see okay so our footer is ready and uh, this is also taking this to the top and I click here just taking to the top this is happening with the react scroll so now just uh, now we have to make the header so this is the final section of our video so let's make the header so it will be a uh, little bit long so okay so for making the header what we have to do we have to let's import some things in the header so we're gonna import uh, imp import here we have to okay so let me do one thing let's first go to here react and have to import the react use state and after that we have to import link from react scroll okay then we have to import uh, then we have to install one more library which is the react icon so that light is here and we have to write here npm i react icon okay let's enter it so it will install the react icon so let's wait for it to install and let's uh, let's write our code and wait here 
as the bars here we have to write okay so this is installed and here we have to write react icons and fa6 then after that uh, we have to import fb from okay so fx icon inside the icon every dot svg let's copy three times and uh, let's uh, write it here yt and write it here yt again then write it here insta insta and here i'm gonna write linkedin also write it here linkedin okay so our now after that we have to import import uh, mob img which will be shown in the mob, uh, slider in the phone okay from the images we have to import uh, mob image dot png okay so after that in this header inside the header inside the header uh, we have to write some code so let's write it here const is menu open set is menu open is use state false so this is false so this is the use state for the menu open and close okay then here we have to make a function which will make the menu open and close the toggle menu function name you can write any function name you want and here i'm gonna write simple is menu and i'm gonna write is menu open so it will make the menu close and open and here i'm gonna write another function for the close menu so when we click on this this function will be triggered and the menu will be closed that is menu it will make them set this menu false so the menu will be closed automatically okay and after that uh, we have to make the nav links here so it will be array and inside this we have to write uh, home and in the path we write here like this okay then home then you have to copy this three more times okay then here we have to write about about portfolio and here in the path i have to write portfolio and here we have to write testimonials and for the path write the client and here you have to write the contact and in the path contact okay so our this much is setup is ready now we have to go to the view and drag it okay so after that uh, we gonna make the return statement here inside this okay so let's start making it so we have to write it here now we're gonna render it with the nav so inside this let's uh, add a class name flex justify item center gap of 4 dg black padding in the direction with the pen padding in the y direction would be 6 sticky at the top and top would be 0 and z index would be 30 ok then inside this uh, nav nav uh, we have to make a div for the logo id logo and inside this you can render the image also but i am gonna render debug entity my channel name and you can write anything you want 
here I'm gonna give, give the text 3 xl and text orange font bold okay so if I format this so it will show me here okay so after that uh, after this we have to enter a ul tag and this ul tag will contain all the links so let's give for the large devices flex in the large devices it will be flex and justify center item center gap would be 10 and for all the for all the devices it will be hidden and for, and only for the large devices it will be flex so flex means it will show in the large devices and inside this we have to render the above this nav item so right here nav item dot nav to bracket inside this here we have to render this link and path so write it here link and path okay nav item dot map link dot path here like this and uh, inside this to enter here link like this and inside this uh, to render the link here and inside this link we have to give the classes text 16 pixel cursor pointer text wise font semi bold upper case hover text orange 500 and on active text orange 500 so let's format this one and after that uh, after that we have to give the key in the key we have to give the path and in the two you have to give the path again and if pi would be true and in the smooth we have to give uh, true and for the offset you have to give minus 100 ok so let's format this ok so after that uh, after the ul tag so let's see our links are rendered ok so these are rendered and these are also working if i click on the about this taking me to all the section accordingly and this is also working so if i go here only the mobile section is left if i go here it is blank and we don't have any mobile section here and else our all sections are mobile responsive you can see that only the slider for the mobile menu is left okay so let's uh, make the mobile section now okay so after that we have to go to the uh, outside the ul tag and uh, So let's make our mobile section. So for making the mobile section, uh, we have to make a div first. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to go outside this mobile section and uh, we have to write mobile menu. That's how much let's comment it inside the to enter a div and let's enter a class here flex justify item center and for the large devices it will be hidden and for the all the devices it will be show so it will be showing the small screen and for the large it will be hidden that means and in this we have to on click a uh, toggle menu function which we have just defined above toggle menu okay and inside this uh, we have to do 
so we have to open this JSX and you have to write is menu open if the menu is open so we have to call this image or the icons from the react icon and this would be text white text to excel and cursor would be pointer okay if it is not then we have to render the sa bar and here also we're gonna give the same classes so let's copy this class from here save this here okay so let's go here and uh, if i go to the here so you can see that our menu is appearing and it is also changing so just uh, we have to make the slider menu now so after uh, this div okay so here we gonna write the div here and uh, inside this div we have to add some classes so for the classes okay so we don't want to like we have to open the jsx here like this and we have to write here like this so if menu open if menu is open then we have to write translate x zero okay or minus tran minus translate x full okay then after that we have to write transition transform duration will be 300 is in flex flex curve justify between item justify between item center gap would be 5 absolute top would be 0 bg black and the width would be 70 percent and padding in the x axis would be 8 and height would be full screen means the 100 vf you, you will get this option here so you so uh, if you go to this hover option you uh, it will show the properties uh, see okay what it means so height screen then transform and for the left it will be zero so let's format this and inside this we have to render a div flex flex or justify item center and gap would be 4 ok inside this we are going to render the image image here mob img and here mobile image you can write anything and after that we have to give the width of 200 and height of 200 also let's give the classes here empty 7 margin top 7 and margin bottom 3 ok so let's format this one let's go back to this so if i go here so you you can see that this is working ok so this started working ok so let's get back to this after the image after the image we have to render the nav items again so let's copy this whole nav item uh, from here and let's save this here and uh, inside this 
we have to change uh, we have to add a year on click close menu function and uh, just we have to change the styling year so let's uh, text uh, 28 pixel custom and here is another cursor pointer text white font semi bold and uh, upper case and for the hover text would be orange uh, 500 orange 500 and for the active text orange 600 let's format this so you can see that our menus are ended here so our menus are also rendered now just uh, we have to make the social icon ok so for making the social icon you have to just go to the contact uh, section and from the contact section you have to just copy this uh, social icon section from there so ok so just uh, let's first make some section code here so let's enter uh, div here and uh, for this div I'm gonna give I uh, classes of uh, width uh, full and uh, add a social icon and inside this div I'm gonna write the HR tag and uh, for the HR tag we're gonna give the width full and margin bottom would be 7 and after the HR, uh, HR tag let's enter an H1 here and here we're gonna write the follow me and uh, let's enter the class name text white text center text 3xl and font would be semi bold so let's save this and uh, so it is rendered here uh, now what we have to do after the h1 tag we have to just copy this icons uh, let's minimize this and we have to just go here we have to copy this uh, whole section till this ok make this line and copy this here and just uh, copy this here yes save so let's see ok so our icons are also rendered here can see that and if I click here it will take me to the whole section so I think our whole website is completed and uh, our this section is also working and this part is also working and it is totally responsive also okay this is totally responsive for all the screens like this So let's move to the final part of our video where we are going to deploy our project. So for deploying it, we are going to deploy it on the Netlify. So let's go here and we are going to type the CLS. Then right here, npm run build. Okay, just write it here, npm run build. So it will build a production uh, folder for you. So you have to just upload that folder in the Netlify. So let's wait for it ok so it has built this production folder here this so just we have to go to the uh, netlify here and uh, just uh, make an account here login i have already logged in here so i am gonna just uh, show you so after that uh, you have to go to here add new site and deploy manually and from here just uh, browse to upload and uh, or you can also simply drop the folder here so in the desktop I am going to go to the portfolio and I am going to choose the disk folder and just upload it. Ok. So it will take some time to upload. Minor time. So let's wait. So you can see that it is uploaded. If I go to the site overview here you will fi find the link. Ok. So let's see. 
so you can see that our project is successfully uploaded here and uh, this is totally working and if i click on the about it is taking me to the whole section and uh, also if i click uh, let's go to the inspect option and see if our responsiveness is working in the uploaded part okay so it is also working here and our sidebar menu is also working like that okay so let's okay so suppose you want to change the uh, its name so you have to go to the site configuration and from here change site name okay so from here you can write any name like this for your project just save it okay so like that let's set up so you can change the name here and uh, this name is already taken so let me quickly do this and save it okay so it is saying that link is already taken but uh, but you can change the name like this okay so our whole uh, so our whole uh, uh, our whole website is completed so if you like our video please like and share our videos with your friends and subscribe to our channel if you are new and uh, i'm going to see you next time